Okay, so this rule, this formula that I've stated up here, this is the chain rule. And this is what we're going to apply now in a moment. And from now on, you can use this process over and over and over again. I want you to become comfortable using this process because this is a one mark question. This is uh, quick. Now it is important we do the other skill because it will pop up later when we're using substitution where we're familiar with defining u and so forth. So it will pop up later, it's important for us to have a look at. Nonetheless, from now on, let's use the fast chain rule. So we have, the example we have is 3x plus 4 plus 2x squared to the power of 5. And so we're trying to recognise a relationship between this statement and this one. Okay, f of x to the power of n. f of x, inside the brackets, to the power of n. So I'm just going to follow that rule, okay? This inside part corresponds with f of x, this corresponds with n. All right, let's go dy and dx in one step. It becomes n, so that power, n, and then just times f of x, all right? Pipe it in again. Uh, is that a 4x or just, no, is it 4? So n, f of x, and then n take 1. Well, that's just simple differentiation, isn't it? Whatever, it's like, you know, that's x to the power of 5, n, x, n take 1. Okay, except we're doing it with f of x. Alright, so that's n, f of x, n take 1. And then multiplied by f dash of x. All you multiply it by then is the derivative of the inside. So we look at the inside. We'll chuck it in brackets and we just do simple diff. Derivative of 3x, 3. Derivative of positive 4 disappears. Derivative of 2x squared, 4x. Okay, one step. And the more you do this, like you'll look at that and you'll just go, you know what it is to it out. Okay, um, looks alright. Alright, cool. Let's get you guys to have a go. I'll get everyone up on the board to have a go at one as well. Um, but yeah, let, from now 